Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang La Hopital's Rule. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung La Hopital's Rule. So, itong La Hopital's Rule, application siya ng derivatives. Kung saan kapag nag-evaluate tayo ng limit of function, particularly a rational function, kapag in-evaluate natin yung function na yun doon sa in-approach na value ng x at ang kinalabasan niya is indeterminate form, pwedeng 0 over 0 or pwedeng plus minus infinity over plus minus infinity, then pwede natin i-apply yung La Hopital's Rule para mahanap yung limit ng function na yun. Okay? So, ano ba yung La Hopital's Rule? So, define natin. Let f and g be functions that are differentiable on an open interval i except possibly at the number a in i. Suppose that for all x not equal to a in i, k prime of x not equal to 0, then if limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to 0, and limit of g of x as x approaches a is equal to 0, and if limit of f prime of x over g prime of x as x approaches a is equal to l, it follows that limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches a is equal to l. The theorem is valid if all the limits are right-hand limits or all the limits are left-hand limits. Okay, so kung meron daw tayong limit ng f of x over g of x as x approaches a, Tapos daw, pag in-evaluate natin itong limit ng f of x as x approaches a is 0 over limit ng g of x as x approaches a is 0 then Therefore, may indeterminate form tayo. So, therefore, hindi natin pwedeng maging sagot yung ganitong form, right? So, applying the Hopital's rule, pwede muna natin i-derivative itong numerator at denominator. Then, yung kinalabasang expression is evaluate natin uli sa same value nung x na ina-approach nga which is a. And then kung mag-exist na yung limit na yun, therefore, that's the limit also of limit ng f of x over g of x as x approaches a. Okay? So in case na yung first derivative man is hindi pa rin uh, maging defined or takes the form pa rin of indeterminate form, pwede nyo pa uling i-derivative or second derivative yung f of x at g of x and then so on hanggang nth derivative until maging hindi na indeterminate form yung limit. Okay? So, applicable din itong La Hopital's Rule kung yung limit ng f of x sa kag of x as x approaches a pareho is pwedeng plus minus infinity kasi pwede rin tayong magka-indeterminate form na plus minus infinity over plus minus infinity. Okay? As well as, kung yung a naman natin then is pwede rin plus minus infinity, yung x approaches plus minus infinity or tinatawag natin limit sa infinity, right? So, kung yung limit man nun as x approaches plus minus infinity nung f of x at g of x is 0 or plus minus infinity, applicable din yung La Hopital's rule. Okay? Okay, as an illustration, let's say meron tayong limit ng x squared minus x minus 12 over x squared minus 3x minus 4 as x approaches 4. So, pag in-evaluate natin itong numerator sa 4, we have 4 squared minus 4 minus 12 over ito ring denominator sa 4, we have 4 squared minus 3 times 4 minus 4. We have, ano yung 4 squared minus 4 minus 12? 0, right? Ito ring 4 squared minus 3 times 4 minus 4? 0. So, therefore, indeterminate form. Pwede natin i-apply yung La Hopital's rule. So, therefore, derivative natin itong numerator at denominator. So, derivative ng numerator is simply 2x minus 1. Over derivative ng denominator is 2x minus 3. Okay, then saka natin uli evaluate yung limit as x approaches 4. So, yun lang na to, 2 times 4 minus 1 over 2 times 4 minus 3. So, we have 8 minus 1 over 8 minus 3 or 7 over 5. So, therefore, ito yung limit ng given expression. Or pwede rin natin gawin yung usual way na ginagawa natin kapag nag-evaluate tayo ng polynomial limits. Yung pinafactor muna natin. So, limit as x approaches 4. So, yung numerator, pwede natin i-factor as what? x minus 4 times x, x plus 3, right? 
Yung denominator naman, x minus 4 times x plus 1. Right? So, maka-cancel si x minus 4. So, matitira is limit nung x plus 3 over x plus 1 as x approaches 4. Then, substitute natin yung 4. So, 4 plus 3 over 4 plus 1 is 7 over 5. So, same lang sa nakuha natin, applying L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so let's solve more examples on finding the limits applying L'Hopital's rule. So, we have limit of x over 1 minus e raised to x as x approaches 0. Okay, so kung itatry uli natin i-substitute yung 0, dun sa mga x we have sa numerator is 0 over sa denominator is 1 minus e raised to 0 or 0 over 1 minus e raised to 0 is 1. So, we have 0 over 1 minus 1 or 0. So, in determinate form. So, therefore, pwede nating apply yung L'Hopital's rule. I-derivative natin yung numerator tsaka denominator. So, we have limit as x approaches 0. Yung numerator, derivative niya is simply 1. Yung denominator, ang derivative niya is simply negative e raised to x. Right? So, therefore, pwede nating uling i-substitute itong 0 sa x. We have 1 over negative e raised to 0. Or 1 over negative e raised to 0 is 1. So, we have 1 over negative 1 or simply negative 1. So, therefore, applying the Hopital's rule, the limit of x over 1 minus e raised to x as x approaches 0 is simply negative 1. Okay? Next, we have limit of ln x or 1 over x as x approaches 0 positive or from the right. Okay, so meron tayong right-hand side limit kasi yung in-approach nating value for x is 0 coming from the right. Or values nung 0 na greater than it. So, pag sinabsitute natin yung dito sa expression natin sa numerator, ln x. So, pag sinabsitute natin yung, yung value nung x sa natural logarithm ng pababa ng pababa, palit ng paliit, anong ina-approach nung ln x? So, pag yun yung input sa calculate yung ln of 0 0.000000 hanggang pababa ng pababa. Pan-negative ng pan-negative yung value niya, right? So, without bound. So, therefore, it is negative infinity. Over, ito namang 1 over x. Pag sinasutot nyo yung paliit ng paliit na value nung x almost equal to 0 sa 1 over x, anong approach nitong 1 over x? So, 1 over 0 0.000000 and so on without bound, positive infinity, right? Kasi pataas siya ng pataas. So, therefore, we have plus infinity. So, makapansin nyo, it takes the form of indeterminate, right? Kasi meron tayong negative infinity over plus minus infinity. So, pwede rin natin i-apply dito yung L'Hopital's rule base dun sa definition ko sa taas. So, derivative natin itong numerator at denominator. Derivative ni ln x is what? 1 over x, right? Over derivative ng 1 over x, so, parang x raised to negative 1, derivative niya is baba si negative 1, then x raised to negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. So, parang negative 1 over x squared. So, 1 over x divided by negative 1 over x squared. So, 1 over x times negative x squared over 1, right? Cancel si x, magiging negative x na lang. So, therefore, we have limit as x approaches 0 positive ng negative x. Okay? So, pag sinapsitot ngayon natin yung 0 dito sa kinalabas ng expression, ano sagot? Negative 0 or simply 0. So, therefore, the limit is 0 applying L'Hopital's rule. Okay? Next, we have limit of ln quantity 2 plus e raised to x over 3x as x approaches positive infinity. Okay, so pag tunay natin isubstitute yung x na nag approach sa infinity sa numerator, Anong makukuha natin? So, let's say, ln of 2 plus e raised to 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, and so on. So, di ba ito palaki ng palaki? So, 2 plus palaki ng palaki, parang ln of infinity. E, ln of infinity is mag a yun sa positive infinity, right? So, therefore, sa numerator, we have positive infinity. Kahit itry nyo sa calc okay? Tapos, kapag yung 3 over x naman, in-approach niya x si, negative, si positive infinity, of course, multiply mo yung constant sa infinity. Palaki pa rin yun ng palaki. So, therefore, we have positive infinity. So, may indeterminate form tayo. Positive infinity over positive infinity. So, apply natin yung L'Hopital's rule. Derivative natin yung numerator at denominator. So, yung numerator is, derivative niya is 1 over 
2 plus e raised to x, right? Times derivative pa nitong 2 plus e raised to x is e raised to x. So, parang e raised to x over 2 plus e raised to x. Over, anong der derivative naman ng 3x? 3 na lang. So, therefore, parang we have e raised to x over... Itong 3 parang mamumultiply lang sa kanya, ba So, parang 6 plus 3 e raised to x. in distribute ko. And then, uli, evaluate natin as x approaches infinity. Positive. So, itong e raised to x, pag in-approach nung x yung infinity, anong mangyayari? Palaki pa rin ng palaki, ba So, positive infinity. Over, itong denominator, pag in-approach uli ni x, yung infinity, anong mangyayari? So, 6 plus 3, itong e raised to x, approaches uli positive infinity, as x approaches positive infinity. So, therefore, positive infinity uli yung denominator. So, it takes the indeterminate form uli na positive infinity over positive infinity. So, sabi ko, hanggat hindi pa tayo nakakakuha ng defined limit, pwede pa tayo mag-derivative uli. So, ngayon, derivative uli natin ito, applying the Hopital's rule, then check natin kapag i-evaluate uli natin sa x sub versus positive infinity kung magiging defined na ba yung limit. So, derivative natin itong e raised to x, e raised to x pa rin, over 6 plus 3 e raised to x, derivative nyan is what? 3 e raised to x, right? Or simply, ilan na yan? Cancel si e raised to x, one third. So, therefore, we have limit as x approaches positive infinity ng one third na lang. E since constant na to, ano magiging limit nito? One third pa rin, ba? So, therefore, define na yung one third, right? So, therefore, ito yung final limit natin for the expression, one third. Okay? Next, we have limit of tan x minus sin x over x cubed as x approaches zero. Okay, so sige, try natin evaluate yung given expression natin sa x. So, substitute natin yung x sa numerator. So, tan 0 minus sin 0 over denominator 0 cube. So, tan 0 is what? 0. Minus sin 0 is what? 0 ulit. Over 0 cube is 0 ulit. So, parang we have 0 over 0. So, indeterminate. So, the hospital's rule apply natin. Derivative natin yung numerator tsaka denominator. So, derivative ni numerator is Derivative ni tan x is second squared x, right? Minus derivative ni sin x, cosine x. Over, derivative nung x cubed, power rule, 3x squared. Then, limit as x approaches 0. So, ngayon, try ulit natin i-substitute yung 0 sa x. So, we have second squared of 0 minus cosine 0 over 3 times 0 squared. So, what is second squared 0? So, second 0 is 1 over cosine 0. Eh, cosine 0 is 1. So, parang 1 over 1 quantity squared or 1. So, we have 1 minus cos 0 is 1 nga. Over 3 times 0 squared is 0. So, parang we have 1 minus 1 or 0 over 3 times 0 or 0. So, indeterminate form uli. So, therefore, applying the Hopital's rule uli, derivative uli natin yung numerator tsaka denominator. So, this naman yung derivative ng numerator. 2 second x, then second x tan x, right? Or 2 second squared x tan x. Then, minus derivative ni cosine x is negative sine x. So, positive sine x na. Over, derivative ni 3x squared. So, parang 3 times 2x or 6x. Then, evaluate uli natin yung limit as x approaches 0. So, substitute natin yung 0 sa x. So, we have 2 second squared 0 tan 0 plus sine 0 over 6 times 0. So, di ba itong tan 0 kanina is 0? So, parang 0 ulit to. Tapos, si sine 0 is 0 ulit. And then, sa denominator, 0 ulit. So, parang 0 over 0 ulit. Indeterminate. So, therefore, Derivative pa uli natin kasi indeterminate pa rin tayo eh, kahit third derivative na. So, hanapin natin yung derivative ng numerator at denominator ulit. So, this time ano na to? So, dito, product rule na. So, let's say 2 times, copy ko muna si second squared x, then derivative ni tan x. Derivative ni tan x is second squared x. Plus, this time, copy ko naman si tan x. So, 2 tan x times derivative ni second 
squared x. So, kanina, 2 second x, second x tan x. Or, 2 second squared x tan x. Then, derivative ni sin x is positive cosine x. Over, derivative ni 6x is 6 na lang. Okay? And then, we have limit as x approaches 0. So, ito parang 2 second to the 4th, ba? Evaluate natin sa 0 ulit. 2 second to the 4th, 0. Plus, 2. So, parang ito, tan squared na pala. Tan squared, 0. Times 2 second squared, 0. Plus, cos, 0. Over, constant na lang siya, 6. So, ito, 1. Ito, 0. Kasi tan squared 0 is 0. Tapos, ito, 1 din. So, anong sagot? So, we have 2 times 1 or 2 plus 0 plus 1 over 6. So, hindi na siya indeterminate. So, 2 plus 1 or 3 over 6 or 1 half. Okay. So, therefore, the final limit is 1 half. Okay. Okay, so I think that's it for this video, La Hopital's Rule. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.